Persona Studio One is an incredible DAW that focuses on pro quality while giving you an easy and quick workflow. So how have they made Studio One better in Persona Studio One 6? Well, we're going to look at some of what's new and being improved. And if you're looking for something new and improved for your home studio, be sure to check out Sweetwater. They're the sponsor of this video and they have a huge selection of hardware and software for your home studio and they even offer flexible payment plans. Now we're going to check out the new start page in Studio One. So it has a similar look to previous Studio One start pages, but we do have an option to do some organization in here. We can add folders. So if I want, I could add a folder for Audio Tech TV. So I'll just put ATT there. And then I can move projects into that folder just by quickly clicking and dragging it into that folder. And it says, do you want to move this folder in there? I'm going to say no right now, but this actually creates a folder on your hard drive wherever you save your Studio One projects to. So you can go to Studio One, then you go to options and we can go to locations and you can set up whatever the default location is and all the subfolders will go in there as well. So you can create folders like that. Also, you can create folders within the folder. So I'll just create another one and I'll call it EP1 because maybe I'm working with a band and we're working on EP1. So we'll do that, drag that into at and t And now you can see we have a folder within the folder and I can move projects in there. So it's kind of a nice way to keep all of your projects organized, especially if you work with multiple bands or you have multiple projects that you work on yourself. And that brings me to another thing here. So we have our artist profile and I'm not sure if it's because I used Studio One Artist before, but I was only able to have one artist profile here. And now we can create as many as we want. So I would click here. You can see I have few others set up right now but if I wanted I could create another one I just click on add artist and I can put names in there so I do have another artist that I work with and the genre for that is I don't know we'll say classic rock maybe I don't know what it is and I don't have a website for that yet but I could put a website in there and I can add a picture just by clicking there and then locating the picture for it in here There we go. So I set up another artist profile in here and we can switch between them however we want. And the cool thing is all of this information gets added to the ID3 tags of your exported audio. So you want to make sure you're on whatever artist profile that you're using before you start a new project. And of course you have your recent files in here, projects and shows. And again, you can organize things in there as well. The rest of this is pretty straightforward. So let's click on new and see what's going on in here. So now we have new smart templates in here. And if I want to play now, let's say I click on that, this template, you can see play a single instrument and capture ideas for your next song. So what do I want? Piano, synth, guitar, drums, and it's going to set up a project according to whatever we select there or maybe we want to produce beats and we could do that. So I'm going to create the produce beats just so we can see what this smart template looks like. And if you want, you can choose whatever folder. I'm just going to put this in ATT and I'll put new folder tutorials in there. Select and we'll just call this beats. So you can see now that we have this open, there's a little bit of a tutorial type thing here on the screen that's going to walk you through all of the stuff for this beat making template. And you can go through that if you want, but you can see we have our step sequencer at the bottom. So it's starting with the drum pattern. If we wanted to create a drum pattern here, we could do that. We would just do this. And you can see if we click over here, it's another sequencer for this track. And you can do whatever you want in here. You can see it shows you the MIDI up here. It's just kind of a cool thing to have these 
smart templates in place to get you quickly starting to make your music, your beats, whatever it is you want to make, you can do that quickly with Studio One. And that's one of the things I love about Persona Studio One is the focus on doing things quickly and efficiently. And I just want to show you another thing here before we continue. If you are a member of Persona Sphere and you collaborate with other users, they make it easy for you to work on your collaborations in here just by clicking that join. I'm not a member of that, so I'm just going to click here and I just want to do a basic record and mix blank template. And that's this one here is just a blank template. We'll call this tutorial one. All right, we're ready to go. You can see this is just a blank template. And what we can do in here is adjust how it looks. So of course we can click on browse and it closes that browser, makes things a little more streamlined. We can go to view and then go down to customization edit customization and you can see in here we have a couple of presets that changes the way things up here and down here look but you can go through each individual thing so on the toolbar we can add toggle snap you can see that added it up there in the inspector we can add tempo and time stretch if we want in the transport section down here maybe we want to add the metronome and that's added down there now so it gives you some different things that you can add in our browser we have instruments we can turn that off you can see it adds it up there just ways to customize your workflow and how things look on screen personally i'm not a fan of a cluttered screen so i do like the ability to adjust things however i want now, another new thing that we're going to find in here is our global video track right here. And we can drag multiple clips in here so you can put them side by side. If you want to align some music to video clips, you can do that. There's no fancy video editing in here or anything like that. You can just do some basic things like trim your video clips, put them side by side, that sort of thing. But this is not going to be your video editor. However, it's going to make it easier for you to line up your music to video or audio to video, whatever it is you want to work on. It's very easy to do in this global video editor here. Another new thing is we have this lyric track and you can just click in there and add some lyrics if you want. And I should note that this lyric track and the global video track are available in the pro version only. And of course, if you're just getting into Persona Studio One, or maybe you're just getting into home recording in general, and you wanna know what the best gear is or the best software that you could use for your budget, head over to Sweetwater and they'll connect you with a sales engineer. And these people, they're musicians and music producers just like us, and they can help you get exactly what you need within your budget. So it makes the whole buying process very easy for you, and there's no guesswork. So from the hardware to the software that you need for your home studio, Sweetwater has it all with amazing service. Now let's get back into Persona Studio One 6. So now let's look at another new feature, which is track presets. So if I go over here, right click, I can go to load track preset and you can see there's some presets in here and these come with Personas, but of course you'll be able to set up your own track presets. So I'm just going to click on this one here. And we can see what it does. It's added this vocoder folder, which has a couple of tracks inside it. So you can save a track preset on a folder, which contains multiple tracks, which can be great if you set up multi output drums or something like that, because those can take a long time to set up. And if you want to bring them into a project, you can easily do that if you save those track presets. Also, Another thing to note about the templates that we looked at earlier, you can also save your own templates in there as well. So you can load those up. So if there's a configuration that you use every time for a certain artist or project, or maybe even a podcast, something like that, you can save that as a template and load it up easily every time. So how would we save one of these track presets? Well, you can just right click there and we can go down to store track preset. Click on that and you would just give it a name. And if you want a subfolder, audio hybrid instrument, whatever it is, you can do that there. And again, these track presets are only available in the pro version. And another new thing that's only available in the pro version is this vocoder. So let's have a quick look at that. 
here's the vocoder that you get with the pro version and this can be great to create all kinds of new sounds and just modify existing sounds maybe it's a voice or a synth whatever you want you can do that with this vocoder and you can notice here the vocoder is like an instrument but you can add side chaining now and that's another new feature you can add side chaining to instruments now in persona studio 1.6 now, one of the things that they've improved is the Pro EQ3 that's being improved as well as the auto filter. So there's a couple of effects that they've improved in there, just kind of fix things up a bit. They've also added a de-esser in here. So you also now get this new de-esser and basically with Studio One, you get all of the effects that you could possibly need for mixing your music is quite amazing. Now let's look at something else that's new and that's alternate pan modes. So if I right click on the pan section here, you can see we have balance, which is your typical default balance control, or we could go to dual and you can see it changes it to a dual control in here. And there's also binaural in there as well. So, that's something new that's in there. Maybe it's something that you might use. It's pretty cool. Makes this a more modern DAW for sure. And there are several other new and improved features in here. And you can get Persona Studio One 6 starting at just $14.95 per month if you want the Sphere membership, which gives you the Pro DAW plus many other plugins. Or if you want to upgrade, it starts at $49.95 if you're using the artist version. If you want to buy Studio One 6 Pro outright, you're not upgrading or anything like that, it's about $399, which is quite reasonable for this professional DAW that you're going to be getting for your money. Now, I've got another video coming out soon where I'm going to be making an entire song in Studio One 6 so you can see it in action. Be sure that you're subscribed for that. And if you want an excellent Personas audio interface to go with this, Click the video on the screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.